going on guys? Grace here. Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls Online. And today I want to talk about the performance improvements we should see coming to the game kind of within the next uh, upcoming months and of course within kind of the entire year of 2020. Uh, Zenimax posted their performance improvement plans on the Elder Scrolls Online website. I will link that down in the description if you guys would like to read over it for yourself. It even kind of goes back and talks about things that they did with the uh, update 24 and the end of kind of the quarter four of 2019. But I'm mainly going to talk about today the things that we can expect to see at least in the next uh, quarter one and quarter two. So update 25 and 26. Now they did state all of this stuff has to be launched successfully on the test server and everything has to be on track for them to release it. So some of this stuff could change between now and when it's supposed to come out if something does not test properly or correctly. But the first thing they said they're going to do, of course, with update 25, and this will be the update, the first update that we kind of get of this year. So that should be sometime in March when, of course, the first dungeon DLC is released as well. They said the big pro the big priority with this was uh, kind of an overhaul with the size of the game. It says this will result in approximately 16 gigabytes of savings on disk for PC and Mac and approximately 30 gigabytes of saving on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It says, remember, every ESO player on every platform will have to re-download the game client when this change happens. And they said this should happen within update 25. The reason they're doing this is to, of course, there's a lot of things, you know, that they can kind of, calm, you know, kind of tone down, I guess, now compared to what they could have years ago when the game was first released. So they're able to kind of get some of the just filler junk, I guess, that's kind of left over within the files out of, you know, kind of off, off, of the, off the game, you know, itself. And that way you can save a lot of space and also it should make for faster loading times. Uh, it says faster loading fixtures and characters, which is absolutely a, a great thing. It says noted above load times have been significantly reduced, which is also a great thing. So, you know, if you get faster load fixtures, faster characters, you know, kind of loading in, you know, a lot of times you might go somewhere within the Elder Scrolls Online and, you know, you won't see any character that's there load up. It'll just all kind of be that black figure. And, you know, it takes forever for them to load. Sometimes their, their character may load, but the name won't. Vice versa, you know, whatever the case may be. So this will be a big, big help when this coat goes through and is live for everyone. Even though it's going to be a pain to have to re-download the entire game, I think it's definitely going to be worth it. Um, also, I said they're working on some other things behind the scenes with combat ability improvements. Uh, they're working complete with successful launch of, of course, the test server once again. They're working on investigating and fixing a number of bugs identified on the public test server they're working on frame rate improvements part one this is going to be effects manager multi-threading work and frame rate improvements and that's all kind of going to be included with update 25 as long as it's all test properly they said quarter two of 2020 which will be update 26 they're going to have a, a lot of other things they're going to be adding in as well they're going to do server optimization and stability so they're going to work on pets and uh, player character loading. First of all, the pets, they're going to re rewrite how pets are handled to be more performant or work better, more effectively, and take up less overhead resources on the server. Also, the player character loading, they will be doing this within uh, the update 26. And I think mainly what they're doing, of course, it could have something to do with other, you know, characters loading on your screen, but I think they're also working on. I know they mentioned within the Graymore update or the Graymore reveal and some other things that they've talked about recently, talking about how you can load your characters into the game a little quicker. You know, um, if you're like me, you have a lot of characters. I don't quite have 18. I do have 15. Uh, so when I go in every day and do crafting on every single character, some of the newer characters I have, I have to go in. And of course, you know, rank up the mount speed and, and carry capacity and stamina. It takes a long time sometimes to load up some of those characters. Sometimes it's fairly quick and sometimes it's very long between each character when you load in and load out. So character loading will be a big plus in my opinion as well. Also frame rate improvement phase two. We can look forward to more frame rate improvements in quarter two as well. They're going to work on multi-thread uh, fixture creation on the client. Uh, fixture creation. Also character update. This work centers around how characters are drawn on the client spreading work over multiple cores also a fx update this is an additional work that will uh, that they will identify as during the first part of the effects manager improvement and behind the scene combat ability improvement three they're going to work on aoe ability performance on the server now while this will be a big thing in like trials or anything if it's a big pve group 
kind of activity. I think this right here, this fix is going to be even bigger for PvP because there's so many people in PvP. When you get some of those large fights with, you know, uh, whether it be AD, Daggerfall, uh, Ebonheart, whoever it is, if there's two or three large, large groups from each faction kind of fighting and there's a lot of AOE abilities going down, uh, a lot of times, of course, it causes a lot of problems, whether it be, you know, frame drop, lag, whatever the case may be. So I think this AOE ability performance on the server will be a big help as well. And that is all that they talked about for now. They said in early quarter, uh, quarter one of 2020, they will start adding quarter three update 27 and quarter four update 28 features that they're planning on working on, of course, towards the end of the year after Graymore is released. Uh, so they're going to talk about, they'll release those plans here on the website as well. And when that's released, I will make another video letting you guys know what other improvements we can plan on seeing, you know, kind of towards the end of the year, kind of the end of the quarter of the game, or, you know, this kind of year's new chapters life cycle. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts about all of these changes. I know a lot of people were kind of disappointed with the Graymore reveal. I was, you know, I, I was looking forward to playing. I'm looking forward to going back to Skyrim. But all in all, if they would have just announced that we weren't getting anything this year besides like server improvements and performance uh, performance improvements for the game, that was all we were going to get all year. I would have been very happy about that because if all this stuff they're doing goes through and works right and the game plays better, loads better, lags less, um, less blue screens for PlayStation. I know that's a big problem here on PlayStation. No Xbox and PC has their own separate issues. If all of that was toned down some or fixed for the most part, I would just be happy with that. I wouldn't have to have any other content this year because I think that is one of the biggest things right now plaguing the game is a lot of bugs and performance issues that would make the overall play kind of or the overall experience a lot better if they were fixed. Anyway, guys, like I said, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click that bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. If you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs, and all their information is linked down in the description. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.